Hello, VC Carl Johle here with part eight of Rolling Stone Magazine's 500 Greatest Albums That Are No Longer on the List. Starting off with this episode is The Who in My Generation. This was released in 1965. It was at 232, and then it was at 237, then it was off the list. And My Generation, the song was beefed up. So the song was resulting in an explosion on the path of bigger and better things for The Who and led by Pete Townsend. Um, other songs on this one, uh, It's Not True, A Legal Matter, and Instant Party Circles. So The Who, My Generation, no longer on the list. Next one up is from Mr. Frank Zappa, The Mothers of Invention, and Freak Out. This was released in 1966. It was ranked uh, 240, and then went down to 246. Um, kind of his debut album with them with the two LPs. Uh, the style ranges from anywhere from doo-wop to pop songs to parodies to protest tunes, art rock, avant-garde, classical. I mean. Frank Zappa definitely had a way with stuff. Uh, the cost for this one, $8 and up. Next one is only a one-timer on there. It's called the Buena Vista Social Club. It was released in 1997 and it was number 257. Uh, Ry Cooter was the one that did this. He was driven to let everybody experienced the music in Havana and with the crew he went down and recorded a bunch of legendary Cuban musicians and had them play on it uh, and it's, it's an interesting listen it was only ranked one time uh, you can find this pretty and it's got a booklet in it the only I've only seen it in CD it comes for about three dollars and up if you're out and about next one is from Mr. Ray Charles who is no longer on the list and this one is the Genius of Ray Charles. This was released in 1959. It was number 260. Then it went to 265. And then it went bye-bye. Uh, Ray went on to a different style and direction in this one. Uh, it's easy. It's swinging. Pop with uh, big band accompaniments. Uh, the big one on this song is Am I Blue? Uh, this one you can find for 3 or $4 on up uh, on Vinyl will be a little bit more, obviously, because vinyl's on the rise. Next one up is, this is a twofer, but the only album we're looking at for Muddy Waters is The Folk Singer. Folk Singer was released in 1964. It was 277, and then it went to 282. And Chess Records was kind of worried about the uh, influence of folk music at that time, uh, so he wanted the blues to be still become relevant so he didn't want the listeners to turn away from the blues so he kind of came up with this uh, folk singer which was an acoustic instrument Waters Willie Dixon and um, Buddy Guy pioneering what became known as now as MTV Unplugged so this one about eight dollars and up another one from Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention and this one is we only are in it for the money uh, 1968, uh, the original cover had them on, they had dresses on, uh, it was ranked 292 and then went to 297. Um, Frank asked, what is the ugliest part of your body? And he, he said, your brain. So that was Frank Zappa. Next one up that was on the list, and I was kind of surprised it was on the first early list, was No Doubt, and it is their album Rock Steady was released in 2001. It was ranked at 312, and it has not been on the list back back since then. Uh, it was way too early to be on the list. I don't know, uh, and it was only on the list one time. It was a kind of their ver their version of a new wave band coming through. So Rock Steady. Um, the big one on here is uh, is Hella Girl and uh, some. Well, let's see the other one. And hey, baby, those were the ones pop. So it was, you know, it's already twenty some odd years old. Next one up is Linda, Miss Linda Ronstead. 
and it's the very best of Linda Ronstead. It was released in 2002. First it was 320, then it went all the way up to 164. Then it's not even on the not even on the map anymore. It's a greatest collection of Linda Ronstead's classic hits. Um, when will I be loved? Heat wave. You're not. You're no good. You know it's so easy. And to think that the Eagles were her backup band for her when she was performing, and then they went on to you know what the Eagles became. So this one uh, about four or five dollars if you can find it out there in the wild. Otherwise you can buy it on eBay and Amazon. Uh, the next one up is Mr. James Brown, and it's in the Jungle Groove. It was released in 1986. It was at 326, and then it went to 329. Uh, it's James Brown singles from the 70s. Uh, you know, the funky drummer became maybe the most sampled drum line ever out of it. We were talking about samples in an earlier episode, and Give It Up or Turn It Loose in Brown's Finest in Hearts and Full. So. Quite a few uh, interesting hits this, on the CD. There's a total of, oh, what's it right here? There's nine hits, and then they actually had a bonus track on Blind Man Can See It. So, so those were uh, from James Brown. You can get this for about eight or nine dollars. I have not seen it on uh, vinyl. Next one was a husband and wife duo, Richard Thompson and Linda Thompson, Shoot Out the Lights, 1982, it was released was 329 and then it went to 332 and it was the British folks duo's last album together it was also the breakdown of their marriage uh, the songs on here was the wall of death and walking on a wire pretty scary song so uh, this CD can be bought for about eight dollars and up next one is the talking heads uh, this is from their movie Stop Making Sense Special Edition it was released in 1984. Uh, it was ranked 341, then 345. It's a soundtrack uh, and concert film of the Talking Heads. Uh, Psycho Killer, Take Me to the River on there. 80s art funk at its finest. Next one up is from Moby, and the album is title is Play. And it was released in 1999. It was ranked 337. Then it went to 341. And uh, it's no longer. Uh, this is basically, if you like techno, it's a techno album. Proved that a computer could have a soul. Referring to a Macintosh. Uh, great layers of blues and gospel voices into dance grooves. Um, porcelain is a big song. And natural blues. You can get this for about 2 or $3 up. You can see it. You can see it uh, at a lot of thrift stores. Next one is the Rolling Stones. It is um, Between the Buttons. This was released in 1967. It was ranked 351, then went to 357, and it was out. Uh, the big songs on this one, Let's Spend the Night Together, Ruby Tuesday, She Smiles Sweetly, and Miss Amanda Jones. Um, Rolling Stones CDs vary from anywhere from $6 and up. Next one is a compilation of two discs of the girl groups, volume one and two. Uh, so it's the best of girl groups. Uh, it was released in 1990 on Rhino. Uh, it was 416, then it went to 421. Uh, they kind of said there were some lean years between Elvis and before the Beatles exploded, so girl groups were kind of keeping the spirit of rock and roll alive. You have on here the Ronettes, the Shirelles, the Shangri Las. Um, you got one fine day. Oh, let's see what else. Um, you don't know by the Greenwich and Greenwich, and then you got also on here, baby, it's you by the Shirelles. Hey, even Cher's got one on here, Dream Baby. So, it, and people say by the Dixie Cup. So it's a, it's got a total of eighteen on one disc, and then it has another 18 so 36 songs uh, they were each um, they came out with volume 1 then volume 2 and they put it together but uh, so it's about eight dollars or more up for it and the last one is Mr. Otis Redding it is his concert live in Europe it was recorded or released in 1967 it was only on there one time it was ranked 466 
So you get his great live performance on stage. Uh, you know how he. They said his Otis Redding as a performer was that you know it was his performances were filled with warmth, humor, and high spirits. He had a lot of high energy on it. Uh, on this, he performed ten songs, and the one they had, he did respect. He did fa la 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 la, sad song, and then he did a version of the Beatles' Day Tripper. And then the last one was Try a Little Tenderness. So this is the end of part eight of Rolling Stone Magazine 500 albums that are no longer on the list.